rant and rave. Let's start with a topic a lot of people are talking about, Tucker. Tom Brady has finally retired at the age of 78. And our question (laughs) is, is he the best NFL player ever? I think you can certainly put him up there. By far, he is the best quarterback ever. And quarterback is, you know, arguably the most important position on any football team. So, yeah, I mean, you put him in the top three, I guess. It's hard not to. Look what he's, look at his stats. Look what he's done. Look how scared you were to play him every time you lined up against him, you know, no matter what team he was on. I think you have to say yes as well. I know it's harder in the NFL than in baseball or, or basketball to say who was the best player. But I think when yeah. you look at the championships that this guy had, you look at the level that he played until the day he walked out the door. He was great even this past season. It's hard mm-hmm. to argue uh, against this guy being the best to ever play football. It's hard to believe, but uh, it's going to be a different era with him out of the NFL for sure. But he was the best, and hopefully we'll see someone close to him at some mm-hmm. point in the future. Let's talk more NFL. The Rams, the Bengals, the two left standing for the Super Bowl next Sunday. Are they the two best teams really left in the NFL and you know I'm I'm gonna say yes because I think we've got the best team with the Rams that has the best talent Tucker and then there's always that team that plays hot at the right time like the Atlanta Braves in 2021 for the World Series I think the Bengals are that team this year yeah that's how playoffs work right it's not necessarily the the best team all regular season it's the best team when it matters and here they are. They've they've run the gauntlet and gotten to the Super Bowl. So yeah, right now they you can't say they're not the best teams because they they're here. They're in the Super Bowl. I know the Chiefs are very good and they played a very good game the other day. But the Bengals were just better. Yeah, it's hard to believe. I know, but uh, I yeah. think you have to give them credit for it and say it's not a fluke. They deserve to be there for sure. Even though just two years ago they were the worst team in the NFL yeah. and got that first overall draft pick. Topic three, baseball. Will baseball spring training start before March 1st, Tucker? What do you think? No, I'll let you expound. No, I don't think so either. I think it's... uh, It's sad. It's awful. It's. I mean, it's February the 2nd, 3rd. Here we are the first couple days of February, and we are should be counting down to spring training. It should be two weeks from right now where pitchers and catchers are reporting to Florida and Arizona, and instead we've got billionaires and millionaires in a uh, contest, let's say, to try to to win. And the fans are going to be the ones that are going to be just absolutely the victims of this, and it's it's awful. And And the game itself, too, yeah. Absolutely. It's just it's sickening. But I don't know how now they can avoid um, even March 1st. I mean, I'm worried about March 1st, which, I mean, if they have March 1st, they can have a shorter spring training and maybe make it by April 1st. But, I mean, they're pushing it. with Every day they're yeah. pushing it, and that's what's sad. The good thing is they, you know, they can they can come to an agreement, and it can happen just like that. They just have to be willing to, to uh, come together and do it. So that means we've got three or four more weeks of people asking me if Freddie Freeman's coming back, which is yeah. really fun. Give you something to talk about, right? Yeah, absolutely. We need something. Uh, absolutely. Well, and finally, will the Hawks make a trade before next Thursday's trade deadline? I don't know if they need to now. I mean, no. obviously they they you know had a, a good run with a seven game winning streak, which was broken the other night against Toronto with Trey Young out. Yes, they have a big game <laughs> against Phoenix on Thursday night, which will be very important. Phoenix is forty one and nine, best team in the NBA. But I'd kind of leave it alone, Tuck. Yeah, I'd leave it alone too. You mentioned they they lost the losing streaks ever without Trey Young, and they still almost won. So I think they're doing just fine. Trust Inch Link if he wants to make a trade then by all means, make the trade. If not, we'll trust the process. Absolutely. No doubt about it. That is Rat and Ray for this week.